everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. We've got a cute, adorable owls project for you. The Adorable Owls is a celebration stamp set that is available for free with a $50 order in January and February 2023. Um, for my box, I found some cute little chocolate bars. Um, I got them on Amazon. They're caffeinated chocolate, uh, two of my favorite things. <laughs> so I thought they would make really fun treats. Um, we've got peanut butter, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. I think we'll use, let's see, I did peanut butter last time. We'll do milk chocolate. Oh, and there's this one too, caramel. Mm. So I designed the box to hold two of these. I think they'd make a really great little treat, a little afternoon pick-me-up. All right, let's make the box First, you're gonna need a piece of Calypso coral that is eight and a half by four and three fourths. On the short side, you're gonna score it at, you know, let me move all of these because I know that I like to see the, the measurements in the videos. All right, on the short side, you're gonna score at half an inch, one inch, and four and a fourth. Then turn it and on the long side, you're gonna do half an inch, four inches, four and a half inches, and eight inches. Okay, so now you wanna grab, whoops, your bone folder. And we're gonna make all of these lines nice and crisp. That's gonna help our box go together. And look really sharp. All right, make sure you fold all of them the same way. All right, now let's take a look at it. Um, on this end, we've got two half inch sections, that's the top, and down here we've got <clears throat> one half inch section, that's the bottom. So on either side, it doesn't matter because they're the same this way. Um, I'm gonna start on the this end, whichever end, really, it doesn't matter, and I'm gonna cut off the bottom square like that, I've cut that at an angle, and then I'm gonna cut off these two squares as well, okay? All right, now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cut out these two longer um, sections. I'm gonna use my longer scissors to do a little bit better on these long straight edges, okay? I'll cut that off right there. Now I'm gonna cut this square off right here. Like that. And then I'm gonna go down for that flap to fold that way. All right, so over here we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut off this square and then go in so that that flap folds in that way. Now right here, we're gonna cut the corners off of this tab. And last but not least, we're gonna go in and snip the rest of the score lines down here on the bottom. So now I can set it down so that you can see exactly, if you wanna pause the video, that will help you see how to cut. Okay, now let's put some adhesive along this long side right here okay and if you've done your score lines correctly you can fold that in and then fold over in half like that and there is your box all right now you're going to fold these in and this is just going to tuck in we're going to put our our chocolates in there in a second all right so now fold in the sides and the back and then I'm gonna get another piece of tear and tape. And I'm gonna peel that off. If your tape is a little bit too long, just fold it in. I'm gonna make sure my box is square and fold that in. All right, so there's your box. Now, I like my rough edges to be on the back side, so I'm gonna turn it, I think, and do the decorations on this side. But let's put our chocolates in like that. Fold that down and tuck that in. Very cute box. All right, now I'm gonna use a piece of our new Dandy Designs DSP. 
This is um, another celebration reward that you can get free with a $50, I mean, a $100 order. It's a big 12 by 12 pack of designer series paper. All right, we're gonna put that there. I'm gonna take my Knight of Navy ribbon and it kind of looks like denim, this ribbon. It's really pretty. Fold it around and tie a bow up here at the top. Like that. All right, and now all we have to do is make our little tag. You wanna arrange that, get that nice and pretty. You can pull that, make it straight. All right, so for our little owl, I'm gonna stamp him or her on a stitched basic white stylus shaped circle. And I'm gonna stamp him in memento black because we're gonna color him with stamp and blends. He fits perfectly on this. This is the second largest circle die. And I'm gonna use crumb cake and number 500. This is one of our um, skin tone, natural tone stamp and blends designed I think for different skin tones. And I think it worked really well for our little owl. So I'm gonna start first up here. Now, you guys, if you look online, if you go to Pinterest and type in adorable owls, you will see that these guys have been colored every color under the rainbow. So don't be afraid to color him or her, whichever color you want. If you use a different designer series paper or a different color from this pack, you can always change him. I've seen him colored in purples and oranges and blues. He's a little cartoon, so he can be any color you want him to be. All right, now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start with my light crumb cake. I'm gonna do this part right here. I'm using the bullet tip end of my marker. Do his tummy. Okay, now I'm gonna come back with my dark. And I'm gonna go all the way around the outline of his face. And I'm gonna go around the outline of his eyes, his big, beautiful eyes. Then I'm gonna take my light crumb cake again and blend all of that together. Boy, I have a squeaky marker. Some markers are squeaky and some are not, and I don't know why the difference. All right, let's fill in all those white spots. Let's fill in his little ears too. All right, now I'm sticking with Calypso Coral because that is the color of our box. So I'm gonna start with the dark and color a couple of these stripes here on the hat. And then I'm gonna do his little nose or his beak and his feet. Then I'm gonna take the light and we're gonna color in those other little stripes. And I think I'm gonna take my dark again and just do a couple of little dots there like that. Right now, I'm giving him blue eyes to match the ribbon on our gift. This is Knight of Navy Light. Right. Oh. His pupils kind of faded away with that Knight of Navy. So I'm going to take my basic black stamp and write marker and color those in and make them pop out a little bit more. All right, I want to give him a little bit of blue around the edges. So I'm using Knight of Navy and Knight of Navy is very dark so you want to be very careful. I'm using one of our new little blending brushes. It's so cute and I think it's a little bit easier to handle than those others. So I'm going to run most of this blue off on my grid paper and then just kind of go around the edges 
just a little bit like that. All right, and that's all I'm gonna do. All right, we're gonna stamp our sentiment on a little strip of basic white, and we're gonna stamp it in Calypso Coral right there. And I'm gonna just cut the end off at an angle like that. And I think my strip's a little bit too wide, so I'm also gonna make it a little bit skinnier. Just a little bit, there we go. All right, let's turn that over and get some mini dimensionals. I wanna put that right there. And right on top of that, I have cut out a teeny tiny, see if I can get a dimensional, a teeny tiny Calypso Coral Heart using our um, Give It A Whirl dies. And I'm gonna put that there. Then I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella, add a little wink. You can also add a little bit of wink to his eyes like that, make them a little sparkly. And then we're gonna layer that onto a Knight of Navy scallop circle, just about a half inch bigger, or maybe just a quarter inch bigger than our circle, with dimensionals, of course. And put that right there. And there you have a fun and easy little treat box using your new adorable owls stamp set that you got for free. All right, there's a free PDF on my blog with those measurements and the supply list and two other adorable owl projects. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube, uh, hop back over to my blog and make sure to grab those. Thanks everybody. Have fun. Bye-bye.